Runners, novices, and veterans sign up by the thousands for races like the Gasparilla Distance Classic. But the Tampa Tribune's Mary Shetton shows us many people are not aware the sport could reveal hidden heart disease. Running coach Jor Vaknin says all runners need to take time to train, but some will still jump off the couch and push their bodies too far. If he can do it, I can do it. It doesn't matter. And I think that attitude is kind of a little bit insane. USF sports medicine doctor Eric Kors knows training without getting a physical first can be risky. Exercise is fantastic, huge benefits, huge risk reduction with long exercise, but it does put more strain on your heart. And if you have something underlying and you just jump into doing something hardcore, you know, you're gonna unmask one of those problems. Every year, there are 300,000 cardiac events in the United States. Some happen to people while they're sitting on their couch, others in the middle of road races. Experts say exercise is critical to good health, but it's important you do it the right way. Mary Hall's heart irregularity surfaced without warning during a half marathon last year. She got treatment, adjusted her training, and last month she ran a 39-mile race at Disney World. So I didn't really have any symptoms that go with AFib. Like usually there's um, a diabetes or high blood pressure or I, heavy medication prescriptions. I don't, I'm not on. Harvey Mellish paces himself and he doesn't mind if it takes 16 hours to finish a 140-mile Ironman triathlon. So I would rather uh, have the indignity of being slow rather than the shame of not finishing the race. He's finished five and remained heart healthy. For News Channel 8, I'm Mary Shedden. And you can learn more about running and heart health in tomorrow's Tampa Tribune. We'll be back with more in just a moment. Stay with us. Gail Flyardo. And I'm Mason Dixon. Register now for the Public Supermarket's Gasparilla Distance Classic.